back is part two. So we have four aircraft. Are you, are you taking any pictures? Uh, we are sitting really close. Uh, we're you get a good one of that F-35. That's a. There's a. That's the newest in the world. There's a truck. Back there, which you'll see, you'll see over this part. It's pretty, it's pretty good. There's tons of fire and stuff. That's what you guys are waiting for. Well, one's coming in for landing. Don't worry, my ears are protected now. I got earphones. <laughs> Somebody's supposed to be worried. Yeah. The British really kind of led the world in that design. That when the so Corsair came out, ears are it was sitting fine. so low, so far well, back. Yeah, you could still see the smoke from some bombs. Power motor and the big fuel tank behind that. The pilot couldn't see where the dar and so they uh, yeah, the Corsair yeah, became yeah, yeah. Uh, relegated. I so not relegated, but so it's when these things start up over here. And, uh, Oh, we're also when these things start up and the attacks, we need to go that way to watch them so we can get out of here all the way and stuff in the traffic. So once they, once they start rolling to go flying, we'll go back to where we were where the old airplanes are and watch them so we can walk right out and right, so we'll see when the war actually comes in. without the use of an afterburner and to be able to target a number of different enemy targets simultaneously and to track and fire weapons at them. This is the F-22 Raptor is one of the most potent weapons okay. on the face of the Earth. I think it's going to be pretty loud. And we will be landing the aircraft here very, very shortly. So Larry Arkin will lead the Geico Sky Typers and hold them out anywhere. to show left, west, as they prepare to recover the F-22 Raptor. Where is it? It's coming. It's getting ready to run. Its vector thrusting capability gives it maneuverability that's uh, it is. unlike almost any other aircraft on the face of the earth. Here is your United States Air Force's F-22 Raptor. A scary noise, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that thing, man. <laughs> machine right there. It's like the one in the hangar over there. It's this Air Force version. Send up when the Russians come over. Right, right. 
No. When the, when the Russians are sending bombers over, that's what they said up to get them. Yeah. They don't like that. Now, if we see the Raptor land, I was just reminded that in 1947, on this very day, the United States Air Force that had previously been part of the United States Army was designated as a separate service. So this is the birthday of the United States Air Force and how apt it is that we bring in one of the most advanced fighters on the face of the earth, the F-22 Raptor. Notice as the pilot keeps the uh, nose wheel off the ground as long as possible using the fuselage and wings as aerodynamic braking to help it slow down. From the first fighter wing at Langley Air Force Base at Hampton Roads, the F-22 Raptor. Action! Advanced training. Tens of thousands of Allied pilots earned their wings while flying the North American section. The guy Go Sky Type, which is they approach from the left, have shown you just a fraction of his capabilities. And the would you like a picture of the truck? Yeah. We'll be active. Yep, we're running here in about an hour. Makes a loud noise, so <laughs> you can't, uh, don't have the volume all the way up. And it goes fast. So that's a real show. Stop it. Right, we'll see you in the next part of the action. Sorry, guys. But, um, if you saw that, I just got this. Which that is the truck that I was talking about. It's gonna be launching today. So that's that's a part you should wait for. That's a part. Oh no, freaking napkins. Well, I just wanted to tell you that. And we'll see you in the action. There, there's about there's gonna be skydivers. <laughs> we should see jumpers away any second now. Directly overhead. Oh, I see it. Where? And above that cloud. Come on, launch them already. Jumpers are away. Jumpers are away. We've already got canopies that you can see in the air. Okay, New York. These are very fast air canopies. <laughs> Ah, uh, by that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get oh, at the moment or this. They are. They harken back to the days of the Wright brothers. Like over 100 years ago. I don't see any of these. Yeah. Their canopy is those used by a very small, experienced percentage of skydivers worldwide. CD factory team pilots can perform high G spiraling maneuvers capable of achieving speeds in excess of 80 miles per hour. Regardless, There's a jumper right there that gold flag, I guess. I'm going to save my battery for a show. Never heard the name. Alina so, Sullivan. this is the last she part of the show. Well hey guys, so the truck is over there and the Blue Angels are about to fly. Oh shoot. Oh, oh.
look at what we're going to see a little bit of because they are going to race each other right down the runway. That, ladies They're gonna and gentlemen, race. is the world's biggest no, big fighter. I really felt loud about it. Now, some of the handicaps of the race, how many of you think that the jet truck will win the race? Make some noise if you think the jet truck will win. How many think the airplane will win the race? About even. Well, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to find out. Oh, this is amazing. I'm going to let you in a little secret. He just turned 74 years young last month. Oh! 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 Go! Oh! 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 Oh!